right, welcome to Proceeding Onward in America, POA. Today, we're going to show you about the defrosting of our fridge. So, while I've been traveling, we've had some issues with the freezer and the fridge. It is overworking, so there is a bunch of ice building up inside our fridge area. It's also freezing our food and our water. Everything that's inside is frozen. Um, so we're going to show you the process of what we are going to do to take care of that issue. In case if you have any issues of your own, or maybe you have some ideas that we didn't think of, let's take a look inside see what we have. So when you look behind the water bottle, it has a whole bunch of snow, as I would put it. And when you take out the water bottle, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's ice. It's, there is ice inside. I mean, it's great because you're going to have really frozen, ice cold water. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you just don't want to have those issues. Just a little heads up. There is a little sticker on the side for warm or colder, and there is a little thing. This is supposed to be for the temperature, and you can move this slide up or down to make it colder or warmer in here. Um, inside here, don't mind some of the food. I mean, help people. Don't mind the french fries. You can see all the snow behind there uh, that we will need to take care of. I'd say, I stick my finger in. Digging, 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 digging. Dig dig oh, it's cold. It's taking up a good portion of the fruit. I can't even stick my finger in. It is so cold. <laughs> it is wicked cold. Um, but yeah, so it takes up freezer space on top of being, making things icy that you don't want ice sometimes. So, um, we'll show you the steps on what we do from there. Oh. Alright, so let's, let's save some time and take out stuff from our fridge and freezer while we are waiting for this to get nice and bubbly. Also, make sure you turn this off. So there is inside the freezer and how much ice there is. Now, you do not want to use a knife or anything sharp to take off the ice. Because if you take anything to it, you can ruin the inside coils, the siding, whatever. So you always want to use hot water inside and it will help take away all this ice. It's like Mount Everest in here. I'm surprised I don't hear somebody yodeling inside. Yodeling <laughs> people. But yeah, this is at least, at least a half a finger in or so. Like, this is ice galore. So, that will hopefully open up some more room for us as well. Bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> All right, so our water is now boiling. Yay, awesomeness. We will turn off this. We will place one at a time into the freezer. And we'll put this one in our fridge. What we're going to do is time it and we'll give you a little update in about 10 minutes from now. And we're going to close the doors. Bye. See you in 10. All right, so it has been 10 minutes. 
Let's see what it looks like inside. Come on, Ellie. Na, na, na. Look at that. Sweet. So that's been 10 minutes for the fridge. And that's where we place the water. Still going strong. Now let's see the inside of the freezer. Oh, 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 oh my god, you can see the back. Sweet. So it is working great after 10 minutes so far. Let's give it another 10 and see where we go from there. Yay, so it's been another 10 minutes, so 20 minutes in total. Uh, let's see what she looks like inside now. Look at that. It is getting there. We still have a little bit down below. And then... Boom. We still got some up top there. So it's dripping pretty good. We're going to have a mess down below. Well, our drip tray is catching some. That's pretty good. Water's still a little hot. So I'll give it another 10. Three. Two, one, one. Uno. Just 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. So we have done 30 minutes in total. Let's see. 10 minutes was exceeded. Okay. <laughs> She's going to keep yelling at me. Hold on. 10 minutes was exceeded. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it by nine seconds. Okay, so let's see what the freezer and fridge looks like now after 30 minutes. So we have not touched anything inside. We left the water where it is. And you can see how far it's defrosted. So I think it's about the same result as 10 minutes ago. You can actually, oh yeah. Oh, slush. We, we have slush. So I might help with this process, take some of this stuff out. Yeah, it's still a little warm. Um, and just see what we can get out manually. Um, and then let's check out the fridge. So the fridge looks pretty good. Um, see what my finger does. Oh, it's still frozen pretty good in there. So we may have to get this hot again. Oh, that's a little, still a little warm, but it's not the thawing as good as this. So take this one out from up here, clean it all out, get that water hot again, put that one in the fridge, and then maybe that will help the process. Um, since we had to put that one down lower, I believe this pan is a little bit smaller. So it might be able to fit on that top level where it can get the very top, which frozen up top. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> Woo. not hot in here anymore so during that time of getting anything taken out for water wise uh, we'll put this back in the freezer because the top is still kind of hard to get to um, so we'll just redo this factor nice and hot back in here to get the last bits Wow! So after reheating, dude, no work really at all. Super awesome. And oh, that whole piece. Yes. Cool. You don't need anything at all. Manual work. So, 
that is how you defrost a freezer. Let's check the fridge. I mean, it's coming off easier now. But all the stuff in the way back, way, way back, still pretty frozen. That's so hot. So we'll put this in there, put it near the top. So at that angle, there you go. I think that should help. And bye-bye for another 10 minutes. Okay, so some of the things that we've heard from other people um, in the past of having your freezer and fridge overstocked, it actually makes it work a lot harder. Uh, I tend to agree with that. Um, when we are leaving, we try to stuff as much as possible into our freezer. And throughout the times of eating along the road, we'd have some leftovers. And we'd build up in the, fr in the fridge and build up more and build up more. And it did tend to overwork the fridge and freezer so i think that's another reason why it produced so much ice inside um so with that 13, note we're going to see 13 12 11 10 so that officially makes it to 50 minutes, give or take. Um, so that was a 10 minutes for when we had that little tiny container closer to the ice on the top shelf. We'll see how that thawed the fridge and the results. So come on over. That's a positive. Ooh, look at all the... It is now movable. Mount Everest is coming apart. Snow cape. Oh, that one's not coming up. There we go. I'll put that in the drip tray. Here, we'll move you for a little bit. <laughs> I'm doing it with no tools. No tools needed, just fingers and water and pots and pans. Looks nice and good, huh? Mm-hmm. Defrosted. <laughs> Look at all that ice that was still left in there after almost an hour of defrosting. Power back on. Yay! So that way our food that's still in there doesn't get the thawed all the way our freezer can start working again to freeze up our meats that have been thawing. so thank you for watching follow us on facebook instagram twitter patreon and our amazon account uh help us in a little bit here and there you're shopping anyways right so every little bit helps if you have any suggestions anything you want to add to us to our videos anything you want to see we will show you whatever you want to see. So if you want to see something, comment down below. Also, like and subscribe. And that way you can see more videos from us as we are learning and traveling across America. See you next time on Proceeding Onward in America. See you later. Woo! Oh my gosh.